the discussion on future of work is it's not a recent phenomenon. Companies have been talking about that for the last four to five years. What has changed though is the fact that we moved on from speculating about the future uh, to having a grip on emerging trends. Uh, we've started talking or moving away from how impact of technology would be to how people would work alongside with technology. And these all have led to a number of issues which companies have been thinking from a, from a de-risking perspective. What, what would be the impact of gig economy? What would happen from an employee experience perspective? How do they manage a diverse talent pool? And how would the digital experience impact employees as well? As companies are getting ready to be future fit and de-risk their businesses, they've been rethinking their structures to outpace the market forces, they've been enabling their managers to operate in a multi-speed and a multi-partner environment, disruption has clearly bifurcated and trifurcated businesses and their growth strategies. The second point has been around embracing exponential learning by creating a virtuous cycle between learning needs and, and access to the learning systems. Last but not the least has been a focus around improving agility by creating a lab mindset where individuals are able to appreciate uh, the need for data and the need for innovation. Only two out of five Asian employees actually believe that their value proposition or what they receive from their employer is differentiated or unique. So there's this tremendous need to do something different, to innovate with rewards and be more differentiated. So, so when you look at that, what does that mean? Innovation, how can you drive that? And one of the things to note is that you really need to understand what your employees want. You need to know who they are, their persona, so you need to know how to communicate with them. And the area where we see most differentiation happening in Asia at the moment is benefits. There's this uptake of benefits that are new, that are fresh, that are setting the brand apart. So empowerment has become a really important topic for many organizations because as they respond to the sorts of challenges that they experience in their workplace and in their customer markets, they recognize that they need to start to invest in the kind of experiences that they create for their employees. What we find is that uh, many employees come to work looking for three things. They're looking for a sense of mastery, to learn something that they, uh, that they can feel really great at, a sense of autonomy in their work to feel some control over what they do, and a strong sense of purpose and connection, uh, you know, a sense that they're part of something bigger. And what we see is empowerment is a really key enabler of those things. Leaders that manage to do that really power a lot of uh, uh, you know, great performance in their organizations.